Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little Geekbench 3 test here, which is an app that's also available for iPhones, uh, which is pretty nice, so you can compare against your iPhone if you, if you have one iPhone, you know. So, um, let's uh, open it up here, Geekbench. Uh, I also have checked out um, uh, Antutu 2 benchmark test uh, with these phones. You should have been check it out if you are interested. But this is the interesting because there's a lot of Galaxy devices, which is pretty cute, you know. Okay, so let's do this here. Let's pop this thing off. So let's just first go over a little bit here. Snapdragon 801, 2.4 GHz quad core, Adreno 330 GPU, Adreno 306 GPU here on the A5, 1.2 GHz uh, quad core A53. And uh, Snapdragon 400, I think, uh, Snapdragon 600 here on the S4, one with 8 GHz quad core, Adreno 320, and a Mali 400 MP GPU Exynos, Exynos 4412 actually here, one with 4 GHz quad core, very nice. Um, Mali T628, Adreno 36, I mean, there's some interesting stuff here. An older Samsung Exynos here, 4210. I mean, there's some cool things here I find personally, so let's just run this stuff. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And I, this test is probably not gonna run as long as my Antutu 2 test, which is more like a benchmark test, which tries out the GPU performance and things like that as well. So, you know, there's some cool stuff. <laughs> mm. Looks like the S5 is first, it should be also, I mean, I started it first. But you get a, a single core score and multi-core score here, which is pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. I also arranged them by size. Screen size, if you know what I mean. Okay. 983 single core score, 3000, a little bit over 3000. And when you add all of those cores together, on the S5, and it seems like Exynos 7, uh, 7420 or something, uh, that's gonna probably be in the Galaxy 6, that it, it made this Geekbench 3 test has been leaked online on GSM Arena, and it got around 5,500, I think, so that's gonna be very, very exciting. Um, okay, so we're getting more and more devices popping up here. Uh, the Galaxy S4, a 697 on single core in 2,215, uh, so you can see the, the S5 is a bump up, definitely, uh, but not like, super extreme, like magical. Uh, and then when you get the octa-core processor here inside of the Galaxy Alpha, which actually scores higher than the S5, which is pretty nice, but not higher on the single-core score, which is pretty interesting, uh, but a little bit higher there. Um, okay, we're getting all the devices popping up right now. Okay, so the Galaxy S2 from 2011, uh, definitely finished last year, 684, when I add all those cores together. Uh, let's see here which one's going to be the next one. 1424. Yeah, the, the A3 again is getting a little bit behind the A5, even though they have the same internals, most of it. Uh, the A5 seems to be scoring a little bit higher each time. Uh, so the A, A5 here comes after the A3 in the last like devices. And then we do get the Galaxy S3, kind of expected, uh, because it's a 2012 device, a little bit newer flagship. And then we do get the Galaxy S4 here on third place with 2,215 and then a little bit bumped up here to the S5. But the Galaxy Alpha still also performs extremely nice. I mean, it comes in first here uh, and it wasn't a flagship device, but it was a pretty nice Exynos 5 device. So that device is going to be nice compared against the Galaxy S6, which is rumored to come or at least be a, have it unveiled at Mobile or Congress in Barcelona in the beginning of March, that could be some interesting stuff. So yeah, check out my other videos. Also, if you want to say more phone awesomeness. So yeah, peace out.